I met Shane first in band, and uh, I thought he was just this incredible player and uh, French horn genius. Um, and then the next day he showed up in my uh, FYI class when I was a freshman teaching us about the library, and I was like, who are you? <laughs> Why do you do this, these two crazy different things? It's pretty amazing, <laughs> all the things that he does. He is a professional musician of high level of accomplishment. He's a really smart guy. One of the things he's helped develop here is this Book a Librarian program, and he is just so deeply all in on that. It was very difficult even beginning to find where to look for resources. If he hadn't pointed me in the right direction and given me the academic guidance to know where to look, I wouldn't have gotten anywhere. I think Shane has a deep desire to have all of his life run through the grid of his personal faith. Shane's really inspired me to, and showed me the kind of man that I want to be in the future. He is a stalwart member of our academic community. Yeah, I was born and raised in Littleton, Colorado, just down the street, and uh, I've had a weird path. I started off in aerospace in high school, ended up going into music in college, and then uh, fell in love with libraries. I just love to learn, and uh, being a librarian has allowed me to learn something new every day. So uh, one of the coolest things I get to do is interact with the students. I can take a topic that they might be completely bored with and show them all the cool things about it, what tools to use in the library, what subject terms to search. We get to have that aha moment together. I get to see that light bulb turn on. We're about to have our third kid. They're all under three, so my whole life is uh, changing diapers and uh, running around with kids. It's so much joy that I didn't realize was going to be this much joy when before I had kids. So I don't have a sense of smell and so the diaper thing doesn't really bother me. I'm a serial hobbyist. I actually have a hard time getting rid of old hobbies. I love woodworking, building Legos, go-karts. I actually refinished my entire house. The one thing I would want students to embark on after CCU is that learning is a conversation. It's never ending uh, and there's always more to learn. Every topic that a student brings in, there's evidence that God is existing and also uh, amazing. 